Hey y'all, it's your friend E, and in today's video, we're finally going to be putting the roof on the church, so let's get into it. We're going to start by covering the small section over the entryway first. For my roof, I'm just using black foam board that I found at the Dollar Tree, and I cut my piece to 12 inches by two and a half inches, and then I figured out where the middle was, and I just drew a line there. And I'm going to score along this line and hopefully not cut all the way through. I want to leave the black paper on the back intact. I've made my cut down the middle and I kept the paper intact. As you can see, it can bend all the way like that. And you can stop right here and sit this on top of the roof. But I don't want this cut side to be facing up. I actually want that to be facing down. So I would have to flip the paper over and get it to bend the other way. And in order to really get it to bend nicely, I'm going to go back and you can see I have more lines here. I marked about an eighth of an inch on either side of my center cut. And I'm going to cut these kind of at a diagonal to carve that out a little bit. So I'll be back and show you what that looks like once it's done. So I made my other cuts. And I did make a little mistake up here. You can see I took a little bit too much of the foam out of it, but it's okay. I didn't go all the way through the black paper on the other side. And I did cut these at an angle. Show you guys. Not very clean, but this won't be seen. So I can flip it over now and it bends pretty nicely. And the top of it is clean. So I'm going to fit this in place, and once I'm satisfied with it, uh, I'll glue it down. So I like the way my foam board is sitting on top of the entryway. I did have to make one small adjustment. Here at the corners of the columns, I had to shave it at an angle because it was causing the roof not to lay flat. So I think it's still going to look nice. I have my black foam board glued into place. And now I want to cover this trim up. And instead of cutting two separate pieces and having them meet here at the point, I want just one piece. And I was trying to figure out how to get my measurements to do this. And I just got a piece of paper and laid it over and creased it so I could get a pretty good representation of the angle on this uh, roof piece. and. I'm going to see if I can use this to lay on some foam board and cut this out. Um, if it works, we'll use it. If not, I guess I'll make two separate pieces. So it worked. I was able to get one piece to trim this edge here. And I'm not worried about the top of this piece. I'll fix that later. But I'm going to glue this into place. So I have the trim in place. And I forgot to tell you, I cut this to a half an inch wide. And for now, we're going to move on to the main roof. We'll come back to this portion later. To get started on the roof, I have this piece of foam board that is 10 and a half inches by 20 and a half inches. I also have several of these pieces that are about an inch thick. These are from another project. I don't remember what, but I had several of these at different lengths. So I'm going to use these to border this larger piece. So I'm going to glue them around the edge. So I have the one inch pieces glued down. I just cut them to fit each side. And you will end up with something that looks like a tray. And this is going to slide over the church. So I'm going to check and make sure it fits before I do anything else. It does fit on top. It's a very snug fit. Uh, it took a little coaxing to get it on, but it's going to work. And it just slips on the top like a cap. And it also helps to keep this side panel from coming open. And I don't think that would be an issue, but I just like having that there just in case. So now I just have to work on the rest of the roof and put the rest of the dowel rods on in this section. Next, I'm going to add these pieces, and this is just a triangle that I cut, and one's going to sit in the front, and another one in the back, and I think this is called the pitch. Maybe just the highest point is called the pitch. 
I'm not a carpenter, so I'm not sure. But from the bottom to the very top of this is four and a quarter inches, and across is 20 and a half inches. And the lines that I've drawn on this piece, you can ignore this. I was thinking of doing something uh, extra onto this uh, piece here, and then I decided not to. So just ignore those markings, and I'm going to get these pieces glued into place. So I have these pieces glued into place and I did leave a quarter of an inch of a ledge on these. And that's because I'm thinking about gluing these on like I did on the bottom of the church. I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. So, but I did leave that ledge just in case I decide to do that. But next I'm going to take this black foam and just like I did the smaller roof over the entryway, I carved out the middle portion so I can fold it and keep the black paper intact on the back side. And this piece is 11 and a half inches by 23 and a half inches. So it will fit over like this and be the top. So I have one side of the black foam board glued on and I decided to leave this side open. Now I don't need any storage for the church, but I thought just in case, and also just in case I decide to add lights to it later, I can get in here and uh, install the battery packs and things. So we're just gonna leave it open for now. And next I'm gonna add these pieces to the front just like on the smaller uh, roof at the door. Now I want to finish off the roof with a few details and I need to put that center cap on that you see on a lot of roofs. Also cover this up and I was going to use these skinny sticks. I started to paint a few of them black and I was going to use them along the, the roof here. And I'm not sure what these type of roofs are called, but I'll put a picture on the screen of what I was thinking of. Uh, but then I decided not to use the skinny sticks and just use some black poster board. And I wanna see if that might work. So I put the strips of poster board on the main roof and on the entryway roof. And because the poster board is a darker shade of black, I think it works out really well. So I'm going to move on to the next step. So now that I have the roof done on this portion, I can finish putting my dowel rods in place. And the original plan was to continue those rods up on the top portion here and just have a separation where this beam is. But I've decided not to do that. Instead, I'm going to mimic what I have above the door. So I'm going to carve this out of foam board in a, a larger version and place it up here. So here's the finished church guides and I absolutely love the way it came out. This has gotten me excited for building more of the village. And this is bigger than what I originally planned. I wanted the church to be taller than a gazebo. And when I finished the gazebo, it ended up being 24 inches tall. So I made this 25 and I cannot make any more buildings this tall in the village or this wide. This is 20 inches wide. So uh, I'm glad I had this. It's a place where I'm going to have a lot of dolls staged for pictures and things. So I'm glad I made it this big, but I just can't do it uh, again. I do want to add some extra things to the church, but I'm going to do that after I have the village set up so I can see how much room I have. Um, some of the things are like maybe some flower beds along the bottom here in front of the windows and a marquee for the church. I don't know what the name of the church is going to be yet, but I do want a little marquee in the front. I also think I'm going to change out the windows to stained glass windows. I just think that would look really nice once I put the lighting in. 
And for now, I've decided I'm just going to use this type of light for the interior of the church. And I can get these at the Dollar Tree. You can probably find them at other stores too. I'm pretty sure you can. And it takes three AAA batteries. So I'll just stick this on the ceiling of the church and I'll be able to switch it out whenever I want to. And I think the light will be really pretty shining through stained glass. But I'll do that in the future. So my friends, that's all I have for you today. And if you have any questions about anything in this video, please leave it in the comments below. I will try to the best of my ability to answer your questions. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. I'll see you next time, my friends. Bye-bye.